I'd like to uh, welcome everybody out to watch my video on how to sew on merit badges. Thanks for watching. Um, to start off, the first thing you want to do is attach the merit badges so that they don't so they they don't move around while you're sewing. These ways, the easiest way to do this is with hot glue. So here you see I'm hot gluing the merit badges on. Now there's a there's no really real specific way that you need to do. Um, there's no order to place the merit badges. Um, some people just put them on as they earn them. Um, the one I am going to do a pattern. I'm going to use the the middle. Um, the middle one is always going to be a a required merit badge, and the two outer ones are going to be non-required. Um, it's just a personal preference. But like I said, there's no specific way to do this. So here you see, I just put a very small dab of a uh, hot glue on the middle of the merit badge, and then just stick it in the spot. And so it'll hold it uh, just long enough for you to sew it. And then after you sew it, sure, there's still hot glue underneath it, but the polyurethane's not going to hurt anything. That's what hot glue is. So here you see I'm putting all this, just sticking the three on, and then I'm going to stick the rest of them on. So first I'm going to place them all, and then I'm going to go through and individually put a little bit of dab of hot glue on it and then stick it in right back to where it was. Here I am doing it really fast. So once you're once you're done with this, it's time to sew it up. So basically you just go around in a circle. You see me starting the stitch here, um, doing a lock stitch and then I go around. Now this is shown kind of fast, but uh, you want to take your time. You know, stop every couple stitches to lift it, lift up the foot, and to reposition. Um, to do that, you want to make sure your if your machine has the option to do a needle down when it's done, and then it stays in the right spot when you twist it. So you want to just keep moving it around. Um, you can also get a special foot that does embroidery. That's a little bit easier to do this with. I don't have that foot, so doing the best I can. But just go around all the way around and then at the end I'll lock stitch it again um, now this this way works and here I'll pull it out and show you how crooked my stitches are and so it doesn't really matter I mean make it as good good looking as you can but in the end it's still a Boy Scout um, so the next one so I, I showed you all of them. This is the last one. I've kind of found after a couple of them that you don't have to lock stitch the fr when you start. You just go all the way around in a circle, and then your last stitch is basically going to lock stitch the first stitch. You kind of run over itself eventually. Um, and that was a little bit faster, obviously. But there you go. Sewed all of them on the same way. Pretty simple. Anybody can do it. And you can also do this by hand. Um, you don't have to use a machine, but thanks for watching.